And we're talking TikTok once again. Governor Greg Abbott has joined a growing list of lawmakers encouraging banning the app from the Apple Store because of cybersecurity concerns. Six News reporter Darren Wallace spoke to a computer specialist today to find out how concerned really you should be. I started out just uh, sending audio messages to my friends. I know that TikTok is a pretty exploding medium, so let me uh, let me try my hand at that. Joe Catulli, also known as Woozy Egg on TikTok, says when he got involved with the app, he knew exactly what he was getting himself into. I know at least I'm signing up for putting my stuff out to the public as it is. He's built a huge following on the app, racking up 261,000 followers and counting. But U.S. lawmakers may soon make TikTok no more. The U.S. Senate recently passed a bill banning the app for federal employees. Some hope to make the ban nationwide. This is one of the applications which has been getting now more attention nowadays. Attention because of security concerns. TikTok is owned by the Beijing-based tech company ByteDance. Lawmakers worry that the company can use information obtained from users on the app to spy on Americans. Texas A&M Central Texas IT professor Abhijit Nag says security breach situations are not all alike and there are ways to prevent companies from getting info you don't wish to share. This is actually case by case. Any app nowadays because uh, we share data all, all the time, right? So you should always careful about what kind of permissions you provide. He says using protections like two-factor authentication and withholding extra information are good ways to stay protected. Any information you need in order to access the app, there's some very minimal thing that you need to share. You always make sure that you enable two-factor authentication so that it's not only your username and password, but at the same time, you need another extra factor. As for Katuli, he says he's not panicked. If TikTok happens to be banned, he's already branched out to other platforms. And if the app stays, he's not too worried about anyone trying to get secret info out of it. We all know about it and still choose to sign up for these apps. Kind of tells you all that you need to know in terms of banning apps. I don't think it's the answer. That was Darren Wallace reporting for us tonight.